Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to install Slack on Linux. So I'm right now I'm using KDE Neon, and that is a Linux distribution that is powered by Ubuntu. So in effect, I am using Ubuntu. And because I'm using Ubuntu, the first instructions that we're gonna go over is the Ubuntu instructions. So to start off, you need to go to slack.com slash downloads and it will redirect you to the slash Linux section. And then there's a download button for the Debian package file, as well as one for RPMs for SUSE and Red Hat related distributions. We've also got the Snap Store. And uh, so we're gonna be going over how to install on Ubuntu as well as the Snap Store, and we'll also cover flat packs. So let's quickly cover the, the Ubuntu version first. So go on over and click the download button here. And uh, this will start the downloading for slack.deb and uh, slack-desktop. From here, you can click open right through your browser and uh, that will open up. As you can see, I'm using, like I said, I'm using KDE, so it'll open in KDE Discover. If you're using a different version of Ubuntu that isn't based on the Plasma desktop, chances are you're going to have the same thing happen except in the Ubuntu Software Center or the GNOME software tool. All you need to do is click the install button, enter your password, and the tool will go through and install it. If you want to do it a different way, you can easily just do sudo dpkg-i, specify the downloads folder, and then do slack, desktop, and then that will install like so. Another alternative to installing Slack is to just go through the Snap Store. So we can click here, and if we click here, we can understand exactly the process that Slack wants us to go through to install for the Snap Store. So you can click the install button and it will open up, is if you look in the bottom left corner, it'll, it'll open up a snap. An easier way to do this would be to just open up the terminal and go snap find slack. Now we can see that the, snap, the slack terminal client is here, but also the slack team desktop thing is here. And we can do sudo snap install slack and it, this is important because the way that this version of Slack is, ins uh, is, is installable is through classic confinement. So it's not using the traditional uh, modern snap package way of doing things. It's still, it's managed with the original way snaps are made. So you have to do dash dash classic and uh, enter your password and it will download the snap directly from the stable channel. So once this version of the client is installed, you can go here and you'll notice that it's right there. The third and final way to install Slack to your Linux desktop is to use Flatpaks. Please make sure you check the description because we will go over how to install directly and get the Flatpak stuff working. But as long as you've got that working, you can go to flathub.org apps and you can click this download button here and this will download the ref package and open up in GNOME software or KDE Discover. Alternatively, you can go to the terminal section, copy this command here, go to your terminal, paste it. And as you see, I don't have Flatpak installed. So what I'm gonna need to do is just do So once Flatpak installs, I can just do this and it will ask me to configure the new remote uh, repository. I can enter my password and uh, it will install the runtimes and everything that's required directly and then the Flathub app will be installed. After a little bit of installation, it does take a bit of time as you can see a lot of this stuff goes on here. Slack will be installed and you can go to internet and you can launch it like so. 
So I had to close my Slack client because it's got a lot of personal messages in it. But uh, that's how you install Slack on Linux, you guys. Uh, hope that helped. I know a lot of people use it. I know that I for sure use it for the production of these videos and for addictive tips in general. So it's very important that I get Slack working on Linux. And I hope that if you needed it and you didn't understand how to get Slack on your Linux distribution, you now know. Please also check the description because I have a detailed article on all the ways you can get it on your Linux distribution. But until next time, this is Derek and I will see you in the next video.